Hey guys, right, uh, I've decided I'm going to start uh, posting videos on uh, some house plants and so I can tell you how to care for them. But the first plant I'm going to start off with in this series is the easiest of the flowering house plants which is the Pelagonium hutorum, also known as the common oak bedding geranium. Even though uh, this one here, we've actually had this one uh, about four years, and when we first bought it, it was a tiny plant, and it uh, has been, as, been kept in the house plant for last four years so and uh, it seems to be thriving I've also repotted it a few times and, uh, as well uh, but what I do like about this type though is this trade of red so yeah <laughs> Yeah, and it flowers every single year, uh, and it has even produced a couple of flowers through winter as well, occasionally too. So yeah, right. And the next Pelagonium I've got is this one here, uh, which I bought as a plug plant for bedding out. Uh, and it's been outside but for some reason it's not f flowered yet but since I brought it in it has got a, its first heavy flower head forming so I'm not sure what colour that will be but it will probably be like uh, red, pink or white probably so and this one is a bit larger one, which I've just brought in tonight. And this one is a red uh, kind, which is in the bedding type. It's, so these are like the F1 hybrid types. And this one has actually got a bud. So I'm thinking about Pelagonium Motorums is that if they are in a good light they do flower more or less all year so yeah right let's get back into the pelagoniums and this one's a double flowered red even though it's got sort of wavy red sleeves and it's got the darker foliage than the rest and that so and then there's this one here which has actually got a seed pod so I'm leaving it on to see what happens even though this one is actually white so and it's also got a bud forming so and also that's just another F1 hybrid bedding type that so yeah, right, I think I'll just move over there. And this one is in no, the F1 hybrid bedding type, which I brought in, which has just got pink flowers, but this one is actually a decent size. Since this pink one here came in the same plug tray as that one in the white pot, uh, this medium sized one and that white one so but I think that one must have had a bit more nutrition or something and plus it's probably had more sun outdoors too even though that one has actually got two more buds forming too so and this one is in you know, the kind of zonal, but it's not got the horseshoe zonal. 
since this ha ha has a dog drawn the area uh, in the centre of its leaf. So, right now I've shown you them. I'll uh, tell you about the care. Right, so how prime pelagoniums prefer to be in full sun, the soil kept on the dry side, and they only need repotting if they have ever clearly pot bound, since pelagoniums flower better when they're pot bound, and it also helps them grow more healthy too. So, right, uh, what else is there? Oh, oh yeah, and there's one thing that I would like to say about white pelagoniums is that that one's a zonal type, but it does half pair of green leaves without as much of horseshoe marking on it so it's wild that find red ones and pink ones do actually have a more prominent markings so yeah uh, so this one of so this one here we've kept as a house plant for the last four years while all of the rest of what I've had out in the garden this year but I've moved a lot of house plants around so that means I brought in I think it's six pelagoniums from outside and I've decided that I'm going to grow them as actual house plants so 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 each year in summer, this windowsill will be full bloom and that. Uh, but uh, winter is actually a difficult time for, for flowering plants, but these will flower uh, in winter though. Uh, if they are in the best light possible. So, and pelagoniums are mainly raised from cuttings, but it, 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 it looked like these ones, which were the F1 hybrids, which are sold as bedding plants, they are actually. Uh, they are often raised from seed. So, uh, but double flower types are actually mainly raised from cuttings, while single flowers are raised from seed. Uh, but this is isn't the only species in the Pelagonium genus. Uh, because they are pelagon pelagon they are pelagon they are the regular uh, pelagonians pelagon peltartum which are the arb leaved or training pelagonians and there's also a whole range of a whole range of foliage types which have got scented leaves. So, yeah. Even though the, the, the types we've got are just your normal flowering types. So, they, um, so these are the pelagoniums and... Next video, I will be talking about all of our spider plants, which is another easy, very popular foliage house plant. And as you can see with this uh, container, 
you have got some big spider plants. That's right, so next video I will be talking about the spider plants. Right. Right, one last look at the pelagoniums before I end this video. But actually, just before I go, I will tell you what my favourite Pelagonium is out of this collection. So obviously my favourite Pelagonium in the collection is this one here, since we've had this one for a year. As a, and so it's been kept in the house and, and it's flowered each year. Right, fair. Even though that early this year we didn't really kind of lose it, but it did pull through and now look at it but i think my favorite breed that we've got is definitely this double flowers red one which has bronze leaves so and the new growth a dark green right so yeah they're the pelagoniums I hope you have liked this video and got to know more about these Zivers Sitio plants. So, right. Next video, I will be talking about spider plants. So, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.